So I'm going to have my first $10,000 a month from publishing alone. Well, that only took two fucking years. Hey everybody, I'm coming at you here and uh, it's that time of the week. Let me grab a seat. Uh, it's Monday and uh, it's time for that weekly update and this will be a two week weekly update because I didn't get to it last week and I'll explain why for those of you who noticed, if anyone. Um, but yeah, how y'all doing? If you don't know me, my name's Emeka. I do three things here on the channel, show you how to increase your income so you can take back your freedom, so you can go out and design that ultimate lifestyle. And um, I'm really excited. Things are going going along great. And uh, <laughs> we got Cancun coming up in like 40 days-ish, something like that. September 5th to the, September 6th to the 9th, my self-publishing blueprint is hosting a whole bunch of publishers. I'm going to have 20 publishers down in Cancun for a mastermind over three, four days. It's going to be absolutely incredible. Link in the description um, for those of you who want uh, more information on that. But love to have you down there. Premier tickets are now sold out. Um, but the other two levels, you can still get those while we still have some spots. Uh, I know some people were waiting for royalties to get paid out. I think those come today or tomorrow um, until they could buy their tickets. So, uh, you know, it will be sold out uh, over the, you know, maybe this week. But uh, we will see. We will see. But, uh, um, yeah, let's talk about things. Um, so, first off, what was going on last week? What happened? Honest to God, I was just too busy and totally forgot about doing the weekly update. Things have been insane um, with just things in the business trying to get hit deadlines and and things like that and, um, you know, family, family stuff and things are just completely insane and organizing the trip and all the logistical stuff. Things have been literally insane. Have I said that enough? So uh, I remembered about the weekly update, I think maybe Monday night. I was like, oh, I'll do it Tuesday. Then I remembered about it Wednesday. And I'm like, should I do it? Should I not do it? And then by the time it was Friday, I'm like, I got to do one in two days. I'll just wait. So that's what happened. So apologize for those of you who are waiting and expecting it. My bad. But um, sometimes life just gets like that. And um, you know what? I've come to realize that over the next month, it's going to be like that with the launch of the new program that I have coming out, it's not going to be ready with the first, unfortunately. Um, I, I just haven't been able to, to do that with um, planning everything for Cancun. Um, there's a lot more a lot more planning that needs to happen than maybe I initially thought. I knew it was going to be a lot, but it's just a ton of work. Um, so, yeah. So, um, where was I? I lost my train of thought. Anyways, but things are going well. Let's talk business. Let's talk publishing. What is going on? First off, let me tell you this. Um, some, you know, low-life publisher put a whole bunch of negative reviews, had their VA do like some negative reviews on one of my books. And it was like, insert book here. And they're actually like, if you read them, they're <laughs> this guy's an idiot. Or maybe the VA. No, let's blame the publisher. He's an idiot. Or she's an idiot. Um the the reviews are actually positive reviews but they're just one star reviews and so it's like insert book uh, book title here this was a great book it really helped me on insert subject here um uh, well done you know like that's the kind of review i have like three of them and they're all one stars but the reviews themselves all say like positive things and so i posted it inside the facebook group where we've all had a good laugh on that it looks like some other people got it but like when you try to do that, I don't know if, if you're watching this, you piece of shit, but if, if you try to do that, you're like, man, well, you're going to be around for a couple months, maybe like you, you don't know what you're doing. You're, you're, you're not really learning how to build a business, right? You're like, oh man, okay, let me, let me see if I can hurt that guy's sales, right? Like here's your, here's your thinking. Let me see if I can hurt that number one book sales because then I'll get more sales, are you fucking stupid? That's not how shit works. Hurting number one isn't going to make your books better. Your books suck. That's why they're not number one. Make your books better. You know, strategically find a way to take down your competitors' books. But don't mind trying to sabotage them. Like you, idiot. Come on. 
I hope to, I, like, I doubt it's anybody in the blooper because I've taught them better than this. But you, you can't, like, if somebody's number one, right, like in my mastermind, I mean, we all kind of stay within similar niches, right? And somebody will be, like, the top person. And, you know, we'll do everything we can to try to beat them. But we're not, we're not throwing a whole bunch of negative reviews on their books, right? We just make ours better. We try to outbid them with AMS ads. We switch up the titles, switch up the, uh, the sub or switch up the covers, switch up the subtitles, tweak the descriptions. We're checking each other's books back and forth. And, uh, you know, we'll, we'll, we'll pass, you know, I'll pass that person or they'll pass me or whatever the case is. That's how we do it. But here's the cool thing. What happens as we're doing that, we both start making more money. Right? We, our income goes up because we're both, we're stepping on top of each other. And when you step on top of each other, you both end up going higher versus if you're trying to pull somebody down, you're not going to go higher. You're just, you're, you're going to try to just pull them down. Like, plus you pay that person to try, like, you got to pay that VA to like, oh my God, it's just horrible. Like somebody who doesn't know anything about business. But uh, anyways, enough about that. My VA though, what's really cool is, if you remember from two months ago, two and a half months ago, I got a, yeah, it, April. It was, was it April? It would have been April. I think I made $1,700 that month from publishing. May, maybe three grand. July, looks like we're gonna have our first $10,000 month. <laughs> you know, it took me two years. Y'all know publishing's never been my main focus. But, you know, it was funny. I think it was some, some chick's comment on one of my things. It's like, oh, how does he have a course of feeling he makes like $1,700 from publishing? Shouldn't he know what he's doing if his course is really that good? <sighs> Small-minded individuals. No, 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 that's not how life works. And so I spoke to my VA and I was like, hey, bud. Okay, so over the next few months, here's the plan. Here's what we're gonna do. Here's your budget. Go make it happen. Let's get it done. And uh, it was funny. I think last week, was it last week or two weeks ago, I sat down with him during our weekly meeting. This is my assistant. He runs about ninety percent of my publishing business. And I sat down. And I was like, okay, so here's here's our bonus structure. For every thousand dollars over five thousand in sales for the month, I'll give you an extra fifty bucks. And then when we hit our first $10,000 month, I'll give you $1,000. Obviously, I don't think about math, and I just try to reward people. Um, and uh, my wife's like, oh, that's really generous. And then he sent me an email like two days ago. He's like, hey, by the way, we're at $9,046 for the month. I'm like, wait, what? For this month already? June or July? And I was thinking in my head, I'm like, oh, maybe we'll, we'll pass 10 k like August. You know, I'm like... Clearly, I didn't think about those goals well enough, but he's happy. I'm sure he's watching this, but uh, I'm excited because that's like if I pay him, I don't even know how much I pay him, 200 to 250 a month, um, you know, but he's about to get like a five-month bonus just because he hustled, stayed on top of books, um, you know, got stuff done, stayed up late and hustled and got things done. So I'm super excited, you know. Uh, was it a little too much? What do you think? Did I give him a slightly too big of a bonus? Um, he did really drastically help increase the business though. So I reward for performance. Um, you know, you increase the business, you make me more money, I'll give you more money. Um, that's how I treat my staff. So do you want more videos, more tips? Should we talk about staff? Is that something some of you would like to hear more about? Let me know in the comments. I I I'd really like to know. Should we talk about outsourcing not traditional VA outsourcing but like how to have how to work with staff how to have like how do I have him run my entire business how was he able to scale up my business from you know three to ten thousand dollars um, a month within about a month and a bit um, is that stuff we should talk about on the channel let me know um, what else has been going on other than that um, Nothing, just lots of Cancun prep. Everything's about Cancun. Um, this is going to be an amazing event. It's going to change people's lives. We literally have people from flying in from all over the world, 
all over the world coming in um, to check this out. So it's going to be actually incredible. And it's so funny, I'm not giving one message. I don't even talk about publishing at the entire event. I'll w I will, like, outside of the event, you know, with talking with you and whatnot. But on the actual agenda, I don't have one publishing message. Why? There are so many people who are coming that are 10 times more qualified and better at publishing than me to, to give their perspective. Um, their their messages in their arenas uh, in their particular arenas. So I thought that was really cool I'm just kind of organizing everything and, um, and And so to speak, but oh my god, it's gonna be awesome. So I'm really really excited for it looking forward to it and um, Yeah, cannot wait cannot wait, but hey other than that life is busy um, you are gonna see a little less of me as I um, Keep focusing on on uh, just getting everything ready for the trip and uh, and whatnot, but you'll still see about three videos a week up on the channel, um, different topics, um, and um, yeah. But hey, also on that note, I'm looking, I'm looking for a new vid video editor. So I want somebody with experience, budget, fifteen to twenty dollars an hour. Uh, don't really care where you're from. Um, but you 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 got to be experienced. I don't like I'm I, I don't have time to test. Um, I'm not going to be your your tester. So uh, you got to be experienced. So hit me up on Facebook. Email me a mecca at mechosci.com. Um, if you know somebody, you can refer me to them or refer them to me. But uh, yeah, like I said, you just got to be experienced. You got to be creative. Um, you you got to worked with some YouTube stuff before. Um, and uh, I'm just looking at somebody who can really help make my videos a little bit more entertaining. This bores me. Let me know in the comments if it bores you too. Don't worry, I know. So I'm just looking at somebody who can really help kind of spice it up with some graphics, some better editing, and uh, I don't know. Just make it a little more entertaining for all y'all. But hey, if you made it this far, I really appreciate you. You must be some of my hardcore Die For, die, die for fans. Um, die For fans? Hardcore fans? Whatever the case is, I'm rambling. So that means we're going to end this now. Hey, until next time, everybody, I'm Amaka. Hope you all doing great. Can't wait to connect with you in Cancun. And uh, yeah, let's get out there and let's increase that income. See you next time. Take care.